right guys thanks for tuning in to another video so today's just gonna kind of be a uh, kind of day in the life vlog for you guys so i just got it's uh, 8 30 a.m i'm just kind of getting all set up real quick pulling things out putting gloves on i um actually going to be washing that white silverado uh it's pretty clean inside it's a new truck it's mainly exterior and then i am currently saw my store the other day I do the two Mercedes um, this is a bi-weekly customer so what is that sun in your face too um, this truck is pretty clean like I said it's brand new so I got paper plates it's a little muddy under the wheel wells um, that's about it so anyway I'm gonna bang this one out real quick he has to go to a meeting he's not gonna make it because the mud is gonna take a little bit longer and then by the time I'm done with that truck the white one will be back uh, from his meeting and then I can tackle his Depending on where I'm at with water, um, I can maybe get the car around here. Uh, these were appointments only, uh, but if I have extra water and I have the time and someone else wants their car washed, uh, maybe not another truck, but uh, maybe just a car. Cool, we can squeeze it in. Let me give you a little walk around. Truck's black. He, uh, he just took it off roading the other day for the first time, so got a little mud under here, but nothing uh, oh sweet way to go kids um, yeah it's new literally wipe everything down vacuum it pressure wash that so that's the dirtiest side this is clean I mean, everything's pretty much you know it's pretty well kept up just a little mud under there um, I clean a charcoal gray one every month so it's gonna be like just second nature. I know I know these trucks by heart. I know a little method how to tackle these big trucks. That one's a little bit different. That one's a little bit taller. The hood's a little harder to get to. But it's still an easy truck. It's white. And the inside's usually clean. Um, it's just like I said, outside. And then there's that Ford Lightning. Sweet. All right, let me go ahead and get set up and we'll get started. Uh, actually, one more thing. I did clay bar my car. I used that clay mint. And I use that Hawaiian detail spray from Jack's Wax. You can't really see it. I feel like I can't because the sun's blinding me, but um, it came out really good. And I claim it the windows and everything. So let's get set up real quick. Let's plug this in, prep all this, and get to it. Hi. So uh, hopefully you can hear me. It's, it's a little windy and got the generator going. We got Stanley steamer going. We got the power washer going currently filling up this bucket so uh, I can keep my brushes all lubricated with soap uh, so I can get under the wheel wells because uh, they're pretty nasty that type of mud loves to dry and stain not my favorite but anyway this is the current setup as you can see this is me working um, I got water and vinegar distilled water and vinegar for windows I got simple green for uh, interior uh, I'm filling up this bucket real quick just for the wheels and wheel wells. I got super clean for wheel wells and wheels and tires, all exterior, foam cannon. I got my little caddy right here with pretty much everything I need. Steamer, soaps, degreasers, power washer, power. I am vacuum set up, trucks ready to go. Um, yeah, pretty simple. There's not too much. nothing about wind it said absolutely nothing about wind so like whatever be windy as long as it's not as bad as yesterday that that's hard especially doing a black vehicle so real quick i just want to show you see all that it's caked up so this little bottle is awesome but i did fill it up too much so there's not enough um like space to suck out all the air the pressure doesn't last very long i think i'm overdue for the bigger one the exterminator like they normally they put chemicals to spray it comes with the wand and the hose uh yeah i'm overdue on that because this whole bottle i'll use this whole thing for this truck easily because I'll, I'll go over it twice so just give it a couple pumps these things are like six bucks seven bucks at uh lowe's i think i bought them at or home depot just give it a quick pump a -roo. 
and you just kind of sorry I missed that but you really don't want to get too much um, on the exterior of the car mainly oh shit like that because uh, for mud I do I don't dilute it as much we like it nice and strong you could spray it all over that let me switch hands here suck it am I right am I left hand there you go See, just let it eat up all that stuff. Make sure you get under here. I have, see, and you can see that the pressure just kind of sucks after a while. Give it a couple more pumps. Just kind of, you know, get under there. It's the best you can. The power washer doesn't have much pressure, so it's not going to just come in here and blast it off, which, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and uh, Stanley Steamer's going. And back in it real quick wipe everything down by the time i'm done back any steamers ready come around wipe everything down condition close the doors we'll move on to the exterior hello so i just finished vacuuming the truck real quick so I, since i don't have an air compressor I just go ahead and disconnect that turn this puppy around snap a roo right here so let's see if i can use my leg to and you just kind of wiggle it on there all right, so it's clipped in. So basically now sucks there, blows out here. This is a black truck. Um, <clears throat> so what I'll do is, uh, I mean, it's pretty windy and the truck should pretty much be dry by the time I'm getting ready to do like, after I'm done washing it. Um, anyway, my point is like, I just blow out here. I just kind of pull those a little bit, kind of blowing the cracks, getting here. The, just the main spots where it leaks because this customer obviously has a black car nobody wants to see streaks on there running so um anyway you can blow that out i did notice um with the kranzel since it is a uh, lower psi coming out it's not blasting water so much in those cracks so there's not so much water coming out at the end because i'll be done with the car and i'll go start the other one and then there'll be water running out of the cracks and it's like, I gotta come back. But since there's much lower pressure, it's not cramming it all the way up there. So uh, it pretty much will run out on its own. And then by the time I come around with this, and just kind of blow out all the cracks and crannies. It, um, like even here on the lights too, like sometimes it'll just come and run and build up and drip or the gas tank, the little door, it'll leak. So I just blow that out and it hasn't been too bad. All right, so I'm trying to get content for you guys, but I'm also trying to be efficient. So, just to be clear, as you can see, this is a new truck. It was just bought a couple days ago. So it doesn't really need much. But basically what I'm doing real quick is I'm taking my steamer. I'm going to go and just steam and wipe. That's what I'm doing. Steaming and wiping as I go. Just to tackle everything. Get all this stuff off. Under here, like that, where feet are. Um, and then the only thing I'm going to do, because this is a bi-weekly and it's literally going to always be just touched up. I'm just going to condition the entire dash and the whole driver console. I'm going to tackle the center right here. Very simple. You don't have to go over the top and degrease because normally I'd come in here with my simple green and stuff like that. But if it doesn't need it, like don't do it. Save yourself time. Be efficient. Get the truck done. You know, at the end of it, do a walk around, check everything out and, you know, just touch up if you need to. But for the most part, there's not much going on. This is the dirtiest side, as you saw behind the seat, and it's usually gonna be the driver's side, and then it's exterior. So just do the bare minimum that you need to. Yellow. So I just finished up the inside of the truck. It's all done. The only thing left to do for the inside is like door jams and windows, but I'll do that after I wash it. But real quick, side rant. So before I was detailing this building right here, I used to deliver for Amazon and I delivered here at the 17th floor. And I remember the package said 17th floor, but there was no 17th floor. It skipped it on the elevator. It was like, it was like 16, 18. So the guard had to take me to the top. When I went to the top, swear to Zeus, uh, secret service was renting a whole floor to themselves. So who knows what's going on there? Southern Nevada water authority probably watching me right now so anyway yep fun fact okay so got the inside of the truck done conditioned air freshener it's done outside's washed all i gotta do is dry it windows door jams tire shine 
four things left. So we're about an hour and a half in. Typically I could finish the truck right around then, but like I said, it was muddy. It is my first time touching it. So kind of took my time, not trying to, you know, keep smearing dirt and scratch the paint, especially cause it's black and we were cooking in the sun. So even though it's really nice out, let's see, 54 degrees doesn't mean anything especially when you're in the sun so i look forward to washing this truck during the summertime it's gonna be great okay so i'm just uh putting conditioner on the tires and rims but i wanted to show you something real quick let me hold this here so what i do is turn on washing the rims go through and dry them real quick that just super quick just get in there get all the water right let them dry I'm just trying to use this up. The cap came pretty messed up, so I gotta re-wipe them down, but typically it would just mist them. See how wet that looks? So I kinda have to go over it super quick, which is fine. Until I can, I get rid of it. It's got a retarded nozzle, but uh, look at that. Typically I'll just spray them and done. Look at that. And then come over it, the tire shine. These are bigger tires, so kind of got to go a couple more times around, but also hold your breath. That's what they look like on mine. It's been a couple days, so. But uh, anyway, let's finish up. Oops. I'm gonna try to hold the camera with my right hand. But typically I like to get this first set of knobbies. Is that off? rim conditioned, tire conditioned. I even did this. Uh, it's not necessary, but it's got so much black trim I could just use that on. I think I might try to take that cap off from uh, actually that can when it's done, put it on that one to see if it does any difference because that's got a good spray pattern. Okay, the truck is done. Everything is clean under there. Got all the mud, condition the rims, tires. You can tell this truck was a uh, pretty hardcore because uh got a lot of scratches and scuffs but that's what happens when you get a black truck but also an off-roading truck so it's kind of like one or the other yeah. lots of scratches lots of swirl marks lots of little weird spots i just want to make sure that's good boom like that i don't know if you can see that but that's that's like in the paint i don't know maybe that's a hot spot Maybe it's got an old ceramic coat on it. But anyway, it's all done. So, one car down. Now to tackle this big boy right here. This one's pretty sweet too. Wait till you see the interior. Go right to you. So, driver's side, really not that bad. Again, um, these customers take really good care of their car. It's white. Look at that, they protect their back seat. So I'll just vacuum this. These, I cleaned this car about a month, uh, maybe six weeks ago. I think just before Christmas. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, we're coming up on that. Anyway, actually, I'll leave that open. I will say, those tires are pretty bad. So, that's probably where I'm going to spend most of my time. I like that I can deep clean these rims. This truck is tall. No bed liner. Really don't have to clean in there. Under here. Oh, no. So this just happened right here. This little ground popped out and it's stuck right there. Where you at? Right there, sir. So it still works, um, but yeah, dang it. This is a good extension cord too. This is uh, one I've had for a while. It's just been sitting. 
and also it's been in there and it's been like very turned and kinked. Sorry for my poor camera. But let me get the shit out of here. Damn. It's only a matter of time. So anyway, all done with the inside of that truck. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start the outside. Hey, so I just finished up. Check out that condition. It's just repelling water, tire shine. Truck's looking good. All finished up. Took me exactly two hours on this one. Awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up now and uh, go fill up my water tank, prep everything. Got some supplies to go buy. I uh, I'm out of this stuff, some tire shine, and I'm also out of the conditioner that I use for the roofs. This stuff right here. I know I got two cans, but uh, I didn't realize. I've been using both of them and they're both empty. So stupid. So let me clean up real quick and then, uh, and then uh, yeah, let's head out of here. Get paid and then head out of here. Maybe stop for lunch. We'll see. I'm trying to be good and eat at home, but some carne asada fries. Hey, what up guys? So went ahead and finished up and done for the day. Um, well, technically done washing, but I'm gonna go pick up some supplies so I'm good for tomorrow. Don't have to worry about that. Maybe go fill my water tank up. Just have the truck ready to go. Fill the generator up with some fuel. Be prepped, you know, doing the things. Then I can move on, go edit this video, get it going. I try to do everything in one take, so there's not much editing. If anything, I have to shorten, add music, blah, 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 little effects. You know, but other than that, it's kind of just copy and paste and upload. So that's how I'm trying to do it. Anyway, so thanks again for tuning in, guys. Um, really just a vlog day in the life. Um, it was a good day. We were efficient. We fit, finished on time. Two hours and 15 minutes. Two hours exactly on that car. It always feels like it's going to take longer. Uh, but once you, you know, you tap into that flow state, you go. So anyway, if you have any questions about any of the equipment I used, chemicals, setup, um, if you saw me do something wrong and you have a better way of doing it, down below please do subscribe turn on notifications give it a thumbs up and follow me on instagram for more content you want to see more of the you know stuff that you don't see on youtube shorts anyway love you guys appreciate you tabers family ladies and genitals have a good one i'll see you in the next video